Camp Rainbow Gold is an amazing organization. It helps families with a kiddo who's been diagnosed with cancer. And they offer different camps. They offer family camp, sibling camp, a youth camp for the kiddo diagnosed throughout the year. We don't only support the child with cancer, but we also support the moms and the dads and the whole family because a cancer diagnosis impacts the entire family. Camp for Google means a lot to me. It's a super fun place where you get to spend a week with a bunch of other kids that have gone through the same thing that you have. Meeting people is very fun. I am a very social kid. I love being social, so making new friends, hanging out with people at camp is very enjoyable. These families are spending a lot of time in hospital rooms, doctor's appointments, and they're missing out on things that I think you and I sometimes take for granted. Uh, just being able to go out and to a movie or go camping and just having that family fun. Kids going to school, a lot of them can't even be in school when they are going through their diagnosis. So they're feeling left out. They're missing basic childhood experiences that we've all enjoyed. To talk about camp itself, to go and see these kids who are resilient, who are strong, and they teach you so much. And there is nothing but fun here. If you come to Camp Rainbow Gold and spend any time there, I promise you it'll change your life for the rest of your life. And, and I really truly think that's true. It makes you uh, feel that, you know, you have some value. Plus it's so much fun. Cancer's not going away. Kids are being diagnosed constantly, especially in our valley and in our area. And to be able to serve them, we have to grow. Not enough cabins, um, we need room. So what we're building, what CBH is building for Camp Rainbow Gold is six cabins. Um, basically from foundation up, they'll be finished by Thursday, uh, ready to be used by the kids. Uh, what it means to us is just powerful help to those in need. Uh, Camp Rainbow Gold is, we've been with them for 20 years. We're so proud to be a part of them. We cannot do it by ourselves, so we've got this mass army of amazing, talented, ready, willing, and able subcontractors, suppliers, trade partners that we just love that help us every day. And they're here on the mission to help us achieve this for Camp Rainbow Gold. Today is day zero. And today we're starting the process of solving the housing crisis, essentially. We're providing more space for these kids to get more of them out here so we won't have to turn anyone away. Today is our big load-in day, and we were up this morning at 6 a.m. with our first semi-trucks coming through. We loaded in today about 15 semi-trucks, and right behind me, everything is loaded and staged and ready to go for tomorrow's big day. Um, we had semi after semi coming in with loads of wall panels and trusses and siding and roofing and anything you could possibly imagine that would take to build six cabins at once. We are setting up all the tents, making sure that everybody's rock and roll, feeding the crews, keeping them hydrated, making sure that everybody's happy and healthy. So that's happening day zero. Day one, Camp Rainbow Gold. Uh, today is the heavy day of, of lifting. 
framing starts first thing. Uh, we'll try to get these things uh, framed up by noon, uh, dried in or the roof partially will be on. Um, and then uh, subcontractors coming in this afternoon to start with uh, rough ends, plumbing, uh, electrical, heating. Um, exciting stuff, big first day, a lot of heavy lifting, a lot of guys, a lot of loud music. Camp Raven Gold solves a problem that is not a problem for people like you and me. Able-bodied, well-bodied, healthy people. It is literally just a wonderful camp that, they, that a kid that doesn't have an opportunity to go to summer camp gets to go to summer camp. It is that simple and it is that important to somebody. And of course, when we, uh, we have the opportunity to give to, to families, uh, to kids, we just really get engaged, super powerful. Um, as far as why we get involved is we just love the mission of Cam Rainbow Gold. Uh, we love being a part of it. Of course, we build houses every day. Uh, it's very meaningful and very powerful for us, but we just love the challenge, the opportunity to help these kids, help these families uh, get to another place so they can heal, get better, and, and uh, live their lives to the fullest. You come to this camp you get to hang out in hammock world. You get to play pickleball, right? Like you have all these things and games and activities and you get to fish and chucks on. That you're doing all these things you're supposed to do, which then in my opinion helps you all throughout life because you don't feel like you're segregated anymore. You don't feel like you're an outsider. You feel like, hey, I've, I've fished at the pond. I've played pickleball. I've done a hammock. I'm just like you and I can do big things too, no matter what my diagnosis is. This place is pure magic. And then to see all of these construction workers up here, all of these builders, all of these suppliers, all of these trades doing so much to make this a magical experience for the kids, it's just hard to express what it means. Things that we have going on out there, we've got six cabins, start them two days ago. Um, we've got uh, finishing up the inside trim, uh, painters are in there painting, and of course uh, then finished work, cabinets, uh, countertops that are all uh, slated to get in there. As you can watch, some of the siding still needs to go on, but that's on the front, pretty much everything in the back is done. Day two looked like you've got siders, you've got roofers. We are trying to get to the inside of the building all while we're also trying to build all of the decks. This place was a mountain. I'm talking hundreds upon hundreds of trades and companies and volunteers. Let me tell you, it was pure magical chaos. We loved every second of it, but it, it was chaos. I mean. Six cabins in three days, it's gonna happen. Then you add on hundreds of bodies and <laughs> literally hundreds of trades, but we did it. We're still standing, we're here. And at the end of the day, the cabins started to take life. They started to look like cabins. Roofs started to appear. We had siding on the cabins, right? Like you're actually starting to feel this village and you're like, it's coming alive. I gotta be honest though, we had some setbacks. We had some challenges, but you know what? That's okay because we had trades that literally stayed in the saddle. They had to sleep in tents in the field. They had to wait for hours for the next trade to get out, to get done, right? Like we're missing some things. We had some you know, other trade issues, but you know what? It didn't matter because then we had people saying, I'll bring more guys, we will do this. We had trades that we haven't even like, didn't have planned for this job who like tapped in, realizing that we needed more help. I would tell you at the end of day two, we realized what we were all made of, and that we also realized is that we needed more help, and that we had to call down the valley and say, get here. We had people answer that call. So the village is happening, 
The six cabins are coming to life and I could not be happier where we are at the end of day two. So love wins is just the basic philosophy that says love is the highest power. Love is the highest emotion, the highest being. When you get humans together and we do amazing things together, it's all about love and we will win. Like hands down, this whole camp radiates love wins. Oh, it is. Love is one of those one of those words that means so much. And but also, you know, uh, when you love something, right, you just cannot get enough of it. I cannot be surrounded by it enough. But also, it truly does attract. It brings us closer, makes us feel good. I'm overwhelmed with joy and really humbled at how many people that I know personally that have just wanted to help. And of course, we have so much love and support. It's like, I hope everybody gets the feeling of, of uh, fulfillment that, uh, that I do of being part of it. Love does win. I feel incredibly blessed on a personal level to be a part of this and witness when we're standing out there on that stage and watching what all of those people are doing and looking all over this site, how many people are here helping to support the kids, to make life a little bit better for the kids. It's something we need more of in this world. We need more of this come together, do it for the right reason, do it out of love, and just feel that. I mean, you can feel it out here. It's extremely powerful and it's life-changing and it's beautiful. Love wins. I'm super happy about it. Some new people get to spend an awesome week that they have no clue about. And um, it's just super cool that CBH is um, doing this for us. In a lot of ways, we're, we're all different, but we're all the same. Um, we just want to do good. We want to be good, so when an opportunity comes by for us to do something amazing, hell yeah, we're going to do something amazing. We don't want to do anything lame or so-so. Go big or go home. And that's what we do. One really fun experience was we found a dead fish in the lake and we put it in the nurse's cabin. <laughs> and then they chopped it up and put it back into our cabin on the fan. So then it smelled really bad. And then eventually we just decided to like throw it out. 